um, your suggested detour routes for the entire project will be fully vetted and in place when? It depends on which section you're talking about. Okay, so if we're so go through the sections and let us know when your dates will be in place for the detour routes. What do we generally do? Um, we provide notice to the community at least two weeks in advance, but any way to do that six weeks in advance. It depends. Right now, we're still getting plans approved for the first phase. Yes. Okay. So when will you? I mean, because you guys are brilliant engineers. What point do you get to where you know? A year out, that this is going to be the section, this is the suggested detour route. Issue is infrastructure in and around the inner belt is not good. Scranton Road, in some cases, not passable. Parts of Western and Quigley, the city's trying to do what it can right now with road repair truck holes with no street budget. That being said, the sooner we know about your detour routes, the more maybe we can collaborate in terms of getting stuff fixed so that it's not complete, um, you know, that long when it goes. See we, what I mean? Yeah, we have been actually, we've been working very closely with the city of Cleveland to talk about where are the detour routes and what improvements are in place. I've got some copies here if you'd like. And that with the city of Cleveland would be Rob Mavic and Andy Cross. Right. Okay, so it would be traffic engineering. So Rob and Andy, anything you want to add here because the questions we're getting at council are detour routes, improved infrastructure, signage for when the detour routes come in place because of businesses that are here. ODAT's not talking to me. They're not talking to Bob Brown. They're talking to you. So how can we convey this so that we're all connected? I think at this Do you want to stand up, Rob, so people? Rob Mavick's our traffic engineer. Councilman, at this point, the only detour that we really anticipate having a direct impact in the near term in Tremont is when Abbey Avenue begins its reconstruction. There's been some thought about detour routing and how that will occur, but there's nothing set in stone on that. I don't, I'm not sure of the exact date on that one, Kathy. Um, the Abbey Avenue Bridge is 120 days that we're allowed to put it in that one directional condition, and that's from late spring to late summer, roughly, next of, year. Of next year, okay, right. How are you factoring in things like Columbus Bridge out, Center Street delayed, Willow still being worked on, recognizing though that's going to impact truck traffic, the work at the casino, and then the Flatsby's Bank project that ODOT is stewarding because as much as it may not seem like it's relevant, it is going to impact traffic still in, in and around Tremont, uh, the uh, western half of downtown and Ohio City North. Okay. The one thing we need to understand is that the bridge doesn't close. Columbus. The, the actual interval. I got it. And so a lot of the detour routes are very localized. Um, so you're not going to see a huge influx that jumps off of the inner belt that is either going through or to a destination. So that will have to change. Yes. Yeah, for instance, an example would be as we close East 14th Street ramp on in the downtown area, there are improvements that are being made along East 22nd Street, Broadway, um, and East 14th and East 14th and, and 9th Street. So those are improvements to help assist the detouring traffic. And the same can be said for when we look at, um, uh, I may need some help, I'm not as intimate with the entire project, I just know some of the local points of closure. Okay, I guess to you and Ms. Farrell, we don't, like, there's there's obviously seasons that are, are really important for everybody, and if there's any way to um, communicate earlier, with people that are taking reservations for Valentine's Day or oh, for Mother's Day. Because what's going to happen is they're going to call the restaurant and say, the one that's going can to I get to hear from there? Can I make this? And then these restaurants are calling me. And you know it would be really helpful if engineering at ODOT and engineering at the city were connected to Heather Havlin, who's here from Lucky's. We will have this detour, this information about which direction the Abbey is going to be open long before the end of this year. We'll work with the city of Cleveland and we will have figured out what that detour will be. I guess what I'm asking is that before every phase begins for a six week rock solid, this is what it is so that we can distribute the communication. Councilman, Council, on that note, just... I know we're there on Abbey. I don't know that we're there on the other phases. But when you say other phases, which other phases? All of them. All of them. Actually, just dance. I think I. You know. your, your access from 90 East and West doesn't change until this bridge is done, other than Abbey. How do I say this to you? It's hard enough to get people here from Moreland Hills. Yep. Okay. They don't care that 
you're actually improving access, and you are, and we're grateful. All they see that Tom Breckenridge is writing is that there's a cluster mess with construction. What helps is if we have verbatim data from ODOT and the traffic engineer to our restaurant tours and everybody else, this is what it is so that when Mrs. Smith calls from Pepper Pike, don't worry about it, honey, everything's fine. This is what it is. It's on their website. It's on our <coughs> website. To answer your question, I think, I think we have a solution for that. We're just not saying it right. Then, then say it. The, the city is working with ODA, and we're already looking three to six months in advance. Okay, the two-week period that we actually get the press releases, you'll know what is happening. With, you know, that's going to happen on this date within two weeks. But the actual progress or the projects or the small points of where we're working you'll know well in advance because we've been working with ODOT understanding where they're going to be in a general time frame. Okay, let me, just share, let, me just share with you, let me just share with you what makes me nervous because we're having a dialogue here. You had nothing to do with the sewer district's pick up on Abbey. You had nothing to do with it. I know that. We still had to deal with people saying, are you kidding me? This happened and nobody knew about it? So we're trying to avoid that, right? We're trying to avoid people calling at 2 in the morning because work is going on in the bridge, even though we know that it was pretty 